sugar, I haven't got my mic on. Sorry about that. I was just saying we're gonna go over Google Maps to have a look at all the possible places or ways if Sebastian did walk out of that house, if he did, where would he have gone? Right? And then we're looking at the route that Katie could have took on that morning. Because she was only gone ten minutes. That's literally what, five minutes there? Five minutes back, not far. The same distance it would take to get to the school and come round and come home. So, um, there was something I wanted to show you today. Where was it? Was it on my... Oh, yeah. Apparently, the district attorney is spoken out. Right? Now, I don't know what the district attorney has got to do with this because it isn't a criminal investigation. So, why is the district attorney speaking out? I thought... It, the district attorney would only be there involved if it was a criminal investigation. I might be wrong. But I'm sure it's, they only come in. Like, I, like you watch some, I watch the FBI files and all that, like the real FBI files, not the dramatic ones, the real ones. And you see cases where Law enforcement just took something to the district attorney and they've said, no, come back when you've got more proof. Come back when you've got, when I can say, yes, we can take this to trial. So why is this DA speaking out now? Right. Right. I don't understand why the DA is. But I've got it here. And I'm going to share it so you can all see it. Because personally, I like Nick Berries. I do. But I think he also puts a bit of that video he put out of those lights. Right, which came out to be a garbage truck or something, right? I don't believe that, but if that's what Seth says and Chris is saying and law enforcement are saying, then that is the fact, and I go by the facts, right? But he put that out there without really vetting it to make sure it was what it was, or was it just something? He didn't vet it. He didn't, he got it from a source, which all that person done was took a video of that corner, little bit of a corner of that video. He's then got his phone and took a video of that corner piece of that video and gave it to Nick Berries. And he's put it out there and he's, oh my God, there's lights, there's lights. It's all at three o'clock in the morning. Right? So now I go by the facts, as I said. I'm going by the facts. And it's been said, no, it's not. It's a garbage truck. So fair enough. But we don't get any updates by law enforcement. Right? The last one we had... And was that by law enforcement? I don't even know if they actually just come out and said anything about that. They didn't. They just put a statement out. They didn't actually do a press release thing. They just put a statement out. But I just think Nick Berries is uh, some account, some account to sheriff's office, little puppet. Because they tell him what they want that people to know, right? And then he'll come out and put uh, 
a post out on his page. So, and I actually put on a comment on there, and I've seen another YouTuber on there as well put a comment up. And um, I actually put, put a comment up saying, uh, hi there, perhaps next time you speak to law enforcement, you can ask them why they haven't got in touch with the CUE organisation which helps families, uh, well not helps families, but helps law enforcement with resources to help find missing children. Because law enforcement have stuck there at the very first, second day he'd gone missing. We are, we are using every resource we can possibly use. But they're not. They've not got in touch with CUE. And CUE organisation will not come in unless invited by the police. And Seth has registered Sebastian with them. So they know he's missing. But they just can't, won't do nothing until police ask them. So that's what my question was on there. Ask them why they haven't got in touch with CUE to use their resources, being as they're stating that they are using all the necessary resources available to them, when they're not. Right? So, I just think he's like their little puppet. He's the one they give the information to. He's the one who then comes out and puts his posts out. Oh, God, why did that keep coming up? Right? So... Let's have a look at this. I'll see if I can zoom in for you. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? I don't think I can. Right. I can't, no. If I had to put it into my email, then I could have zoomed in on you. And I didn't think about that. Right, it goes. The latest update on Sebastian Rogers. Sadly, nothing significant new to report on the continuing search for 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers. What search? What search are law enforcement doing? What search is TBI doing? Tell us. Hmm? This is what I feared. Yeah, law enforcement not doing their job. The fact is, the longer he remains missing, the less likely he will be found. Because they're not looking for him. He vanished from his Hendersonville, Tennessee home nearly 10 weeks ago. There is frustration. Ooh, is there not? Didn't realise people weren't getting, were getting frustrated. Me. Didn't know that. So many of you on social media and on podcasts Continue to voice your concerns, and I'm right there with you. No, you're not. Many of you messaged me. Yeah, I commented today. I'm in one of those moods today where I've just had enough of people putting over Seth and his family down, and I've had enough, and I was going full throttle on some of the uh, posts. What I won't do is start pointing fingers and calling for arrest without evidence. Um. Have they not got that report from the child services, DCS? I'm sure there's something in there they could arrest him for or charge him, charge him with and her. I'm sure there is because when Chris found out that Bobby from TBI was talking to Seth again, right, he said, all I will say is Seth had better not say anything about anything that Bobby tells him. Something like that. That's when he threatened Seth. And I thought, well, I bet you don't like the fact that he's now got the... He's got the redacted form from the DC... What is he? Department of... DCS, from, right? He's got the redacted form. I bet... Uh, Chris isn't happy he's got that. 
Right. Some continue to insist their stepfather and mother are somehow involved. Uh, yeah, we do. Yep. I'm checking with investigators, and to date there's no evidence to back that theory. No. Oh, and I've shown you all their evidence. Nick, I've actually shown you all their evidence. Right? I doubt it. They are just telling you there is no evidence of a criminal act. They are telling you that. They are not showing you what they've got or haven't got. Right? And trust me, those two, along with Sebastian's father, have been interviewed and thoroughly vetted. Excuse me. Nick. <coughs> Nick. Chris and Katie were in the Navy. They know how to lie. And Chris is a narcissistic. Mm -mm. Don't want to say the word. So, I just spoke with the district attorney, Ray Whitley. <coughs> 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 I've got to get some water in a minute. He cares deeply about this case and meets regularly with investigators for updates. Hmm, okay. It tells me there is simply no proof right now to support charging anyone with a crime. You don't charge someone lightly. As I give a side eye. I tell you, I, I, I watch some of these YouTube channels and my side eye is constant. It's like, really? You do that and I are found not guilty at trial, at trial and it's over, which I agree. Then if new evidence surfaces implicating the same person, you cannot charge them again. That is known as double jeopardy. Hmm. Well, I don't think this should be... Oh, God. Oh, sorry about this. My phone's going off. Oh, I'm going to turn my volume... Um, turn my volume down on my phone. Oh. Right. And then, if you you don't you can't you can't do. I don't think if there's a case of a missing child, and there's possible A B U S E involved, there should no double jeopardy should not come into this. It should not come into any murder cases, nothing. All I can say is the men and women with the Sumner County Sheriff's, SO and TBR, continue to chase down all leads. Hmm. Like that one police officer who wouldn't even go through the water to, pick, to find those little pair, that pair of black trousers. The YouTube had to wait over half an hour or more for leads. A supervisor or superintendent or whoever to come out and do it. Yeah, they're chasing down every lead, aren't they? Right, unlike many outsiders criticising them, I'm not criticising them. I'm not, really. I'm here and I've given, I've seen their efforts first hand. Trust me, I'd call out, call them out if I thought they were not doing their jobs. Call them out. Call them out. They're not doing their jobs. Call them out. They're not doing their jobs. Call them out and Nick. Call them out. So what happened to Sebastian? The mystery remains. The bottom line for me, children do not vanish without a trace on their own. Barring some very unusual circumstances, I think someone else was involved. Right, so if you think there's someone else involved, because a child does not just vanish, just does not step out of the door and go, poof, gone. Does not. Right? 
So don't you think if there's a, another person involved, that's a, got to come into a criminal investigation. But who? And where is the evidence? Hmm, that's what we'd like to know. Anyone with information on this case can call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Share. Oh, I shared it onto my Facebook. Yeah. Hi, SRB. I am now. I'll tell you why I'm having a great day now. Because literally about half an hour, 40 minutes or so before I come on my live, my original YouTube channel was opened up. Yes, they unblocked me. Right? But not after, not before I opened another channel up. So my other channel that I've opened up this morning will be my second channel and it'll be like a backup channel. So if you two feel like blocking me again for some violation that I never did, then I've got that channel to come back to. Ellie Andrews. Garbage. Hang on, I'm going to start putting some of these up. I hope you've had a good day so far, wherever you are. Right. Ellie Andrews, garbage truck headlights do not independently. Independently what? Move. Hang on. Move, one goes one way, the other, another. Exactly. Exactly. They're not garbage truck lights. Right? But because I I have to go on the facts. I have to. If I sway, if I go off the facts of the case. Right? I have to keep bringing myself back to the facts. If I go off those facts, then... I'm going, I'm getting back on that crazy train again. You know what I mean? Are you from Ohio? Lovely. Right? So, I try, I'm really trying now to stick to the facts. Yes, I've got my opinions and I will state my opinions. And everyone else is welcome to state their opinions. But the facts are, the law enforcement have said this, so we've got to stick to that. We can do our own little investigating investigating on the side, but I just won't talk about those lives again, unless, unless law enforcement turn around and say, oh, the camera that got this caught all these lives. Oh, thank you, crackhead. I love the, love the name, right? Uh, unless law enforcement come out and say, yes, the video that caught all that activity going on, all them lights came from, I think it'd be 1017, 1017, Stafford Court. Then I could say, okay, that video where it's zoomed in and you could see like a little back and forth of tugging and throwing, yeah? Then I could say, okay, let's re look at that video. But at the moment, they state the video comes from 101. 1001, Stafford Court, which is the end house, the first house on the corner. You cannot even see CPs and KPs. You can see the roof of their house, but you can't see the garage. You can't even see the front of the house. You can't see the back of the house. You can just see the roof. So, until that, until someone changes my mind as to that ch where that video came from, I've got to stick with that. That like came from 101. And I'd like to know what those lights are. Right? One could be just a a normal static house light. You know what they have on the on the roof thing? Could be one of them, a static one. And the one we see moving forward and then back 
could be someone with a lot of talks. Could have been Sebastian. Right? We don't know. So, it's very confusing. I don't think it is garbage trucks, just my opinion, and a lot of other opinions. But that other video that was put out about that fighting, where there looked like a struggle was going on by the garage, it was from the wrong house. That video didn't come from 1017 Stafford Court or 1018 Stafford Court. It came from 1001 Stafford Court. I said that as soon as I seen that light video. I said, I know what video, I know what house camera caught that video. I knew it from the angle from the cars that you could see some cars at first, just some uh, edge of a car near the end, which lit up, sort of thing. And I thought, I know what camera that is. Hi, Trout Norway. I'm sorry if I bugged your name up. So. Anyway, we're going to go and look at possible ways because he knew the way to the ice cream shop and he knew his way to the, his dad's. Did he try and make it? Did he leave the house on his own and try and make his way to his dad's? Possible. But also today, I was seeing a comment where the, one person said, oh yeah, because they've got a picture of their house and the back, where their back fence is from their driveway. And it's showing a gateway from the back garden into the common area. And this woman said, well, Chris, it was said that the dog followed from the backyard along the fencing and onto Kelly Road. I went, no, 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 no. The dog followed from the front door, went to the left, right, and then left again into the common area and went all the way down past the first house, the neighbour's house, down towards Kelly Road and then all the way up Kelly Road. And that's what we're going to look at tonight. So just give me a second to get my Google Maps up. And we will look. So, but I'm so happy that my original YouTube channel is now back up and open and running. I knew I was right. Apparently they said I violated some of their rules. Uh, have? <laughs> How did I violate? Oh, come on. What is this not? Oh, God. I'll do it this way. Oh, yeah, I uploaded. Oh, yeah. Ah, see. Right, I'm going to put my layers on. I have to have my layers on because I can't, I don't know where I'm going otherwise. Right. Now there's Stafford Court. Here. Hold on. Am I sharing? Is it sharing? Yes. Ellie Andrews. I'm from the UK and it sounds like the nuclear bullet case where Lancaster Constabulary were incompetent and then they covered up everything to fit to their hypothesis. You know what? I'm so glad you said that, Aunt Ellie. I'm so glad. There's another YouTuber on here from the UK who says totally different. She's all for the police and what they did and all that. No, no, they were incompetent. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. But it is going that way, you know what I mean? It's going like that. It's, if it doesn't fit their hypothesis, they not they don't want to know, sort of thing. And now putting it down as a runaway. And that's all they care about. He's a runaway. We can't find him. 
We're not going to bother looking for him. We'll just wait for him to turn up somewhere in a ditch. Right? So, let's go back to Google Maps. Here's this house again. All right? All going. Get my little man. Get my little man. I'm going to plant him right there. Right? Now, I can't get up the driveway, so I can only go so zoom in so far. Right? Someone took a photo of these. See this fence here? There's a... Oh. I swear to God, I'm going to scream. Now, I can see a gate there, right? But on the photo, it looks like there's a gate there. Don't see why they like, have two gates. But but anyway, someone said, oh, yeah, because the gate dog come out and he went up here and cut between the two houses, right? Went along the fence line because there's a fence there. Went along the fence line and then cut through. Right, and I thought, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I heard Chris say to his buddy, one of his buddies on YouTube, right? That Sebastian was the scent came from the front door, round this way. Oh dang it. Now there's a little like ditch there. And the dog followed that scent all the way around there. I can't follow that scent. I can't follow around the back of the houses. But I can take you to where it leads out. Right? And it led out here. Right? And then the dog apparently went along here. And all the way up here. That's it. This is the way the dog took law enforcement on the day Sebastian was reported missing. Do you notice that then? This part was captured in November 2007. Bit weird. And then go here. And we're captured in July 2023. It's a bit weird. Anyway, we're going up here. Hi. I'd say this is round about when the houses were built because they look all fairly newly built with the turf and everything. Plus, when we get to the top of this road, I wouldn't want to walk up that road, not barefoot. Hi. No, 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 come back. Right? There's no building site there at the moment. Right? But I have seen on Google Maps where, the, where you can see the building site. So I don't know what's happened here. But I've been on Google Maps before. Oh, darn, I'm missing all my messages. I have a question. Does... Hold on. I have a question. Does anyone think maybe the side door on the house for the plumbing could possibly have a trap door connection to the bedroom? Hmm. Probably would be in Faith's room. Hmm. Do you know what? That's a good question. Because I'm not being silly here. I remember I grew up in a house, right? And we had an outdoor shed, right? Not a shed, but it was an outdoor shed thing. It was attached to the house. Yeah? But you could get into it via 
the whole way, right? And go down some steps, right? And then through another little door, and it's just a little cup, like a cupboard. But you could go into it through the hallway, and you could also get into it from outside. Right? So... Another person assisted the transfer so that the alibi fits in. It could explain the flood and an easy way out. Hmm, yeah. Right? It could. So, oh God, I'll come back up here. Anyway, we're going to go right back down again. Right? Now we're back in July 2023. <laughs> Google Maps, you need to catch up somewhere. All right, hold on. Just to point out something. There's the camera. Hold on. That caught all this in what was going on. Right, but look at the angle. It's not spread, it's not high up. It's quite low down and it's at quite an angle. You can tell by the shade over there. It's quite low angle. So, that, you know them lights? That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, there's a house song here, and we think it's got a light up there somewhere, or like there. We know it's got a light here. Uh, go back again, Angie. Right, we know it's got a light here. No, going a bit more. See, it's got a light there. Now, that could have been what I call a, a static light. It doesn't move, yeah? Now, just say, okay, that light that was moving around here to the light here and then back again, could that have been Sebastian? Just saying. Yeah, it could explain the fault. Everything. But I'm just thinking, if he did get out of that house, right, could that light, that one little moving light, have been Sebastian? Because don't forget, he didn't have a big torch. He had a little hand torch, the sort you use to shine on you <coughs> on your door. You know what I mean? So you can see where you're putting your key on the night time. That sort of light torch. So isn't that strong a torch? So I'm wondering, could that have been Sebastian? Who then went off scene. Right? Who then went... Come over here, why? Hang on, I'll just get over there. You come toggling this way, right round back here. And I think those lights we're seeing in the background, <coughs> <coughs> if it was a car, I think law enforcement would sing on the camera. But then we don't know what law enforcement know because they're not telling us nothing. So it could have been a car coming down that way from the house, realising Sebastian had rung up. No security cameras on the private house is suspicious. Yeah, that is so suspicious. If I worked for a company like that, a security, house security company. 
and you get a percentage off, wouldn't you? Because you work for them. Right? Flipping out, she don't have to buy the cameras herself. She could install it all for herself for nothing. So, having no cameras on a house, and that isn't a cheap house, you know what I mean? It's, if I had a house like that, I'd have cameras. You wouldn't be able to get near my house without being seen. You know what I mean? I'd be able to sit there and see every movement my grandkids did out in the garden. There would be no little nookies, nookie holes where they could hide nowhere. I'd have it completely covered. And I've seen houses in the UK like that. And I just think, oh my God, they've got... And then I have big houses like these ones, and I'm thinking, oh my God, they've got two cameras on the front of the house. They've got one on the side of the house at the back, pointing towards the driveway, and another one pointing into the back garden. And I bet you they had another one on the corner of the house pointing into the back garden. It was unbelievable the amount of security cameras this house had on. I thought, what you got in there, the crown jewels? You know what I mean? It was just... But I would have every inch of my property covered. I get annoyed now because I've got a doorbell where when you ring it, when they're buzzy, it comes through to my phone. Right? And I can see who's at my door. Right? I don't always... I can answer it as well from my phone. I don't always do that because I know who it is. If I don't know who it is, then I'll answer it from my phone. But you know what? Half of them, half of them, don't ring the doorbell. And, the, and it's like a takeout. I've all did a takeout. So they have to, I say, and I get to the door and I go, after they phone me, I go, and I'm pointing at them, I'm going, eyes, doorbell, ring the button. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Yes, they have them now, don't they? That's a bit curious. Now that Sebastian has gone missing, they have got them precious cameras up. Uh, where are we? Right. So I truly believe that one that was moving is is a person. And I think this one that wasn't moving could have been this one here, which was a static. Because don't forget, the person who took that video actually took it on his phone, right? And he was taking a recording of that video, of that home security video. He was taking a recording of the home security video by his phone. So you, your hands move, don't they? When you're holding something or you're trying to zoom in on something, you, your phone will move. So I think it was either this corner light or corner light round here somewhere. Right? I think it was more like this one. Because then you're seeing him walking from here around, and then all of a sudden it goes out of focus. Could those two ever lights have been this, the, secure, uh, the house lights on this? I don't know. On this house? I didn't really want to talk about this today. But we will while I'm here. While I'm here. Could they have been from this house? Like, hang on, has this light? I think this garage has got... I'm not sure if they've got lights above their garages. I can't. Let's see if I can get up a little bit further. See, I can't, I can't get in to see. Oh, come on. I can't get in to see if they've got any lights above their garage. I think they have. When you look at most of these houses, they've all got their lights above the garages. So I reckon those two lights we see in the back, the bigger lights, are either a car, 
which is sitting round about here, which is coming along round about here, sitting here, because those lights aren't moving. That's why I don't think it's a car. So I think it's a security, a security light off this house. Right? Anyway, so he's come round the back of the house. Yep. It's missed the cameras, which I don't think he did. I think this camera picked him up. Now, the dogs took him that way. But we'll, let's just say the dogs or dog was wrong. And he went this way. Right. Trying to keep on track here. Right. Down to the main Long Hollow Pike Road or something. Long Hollow Pike. Right. Now, I know on the map to go to his dad's, so you've got to go that way. Takes you that way. Would he have gone that way towards his dad's? You know what I mean? It looks... It, those two, if you look at that video, those two big lights at the back, right? I think they're either security lights or possibly a car parked up. But the car is not moving because the lights stay there. The only thing moving is that one little light that we see coming towards and then coming back and then going out of sight again. You know what I mean? Perhaps he dropped something and he went back to pick it up and then went away. Um, now, I'll map, I don't know full route to his dad, so I only know he lives in Clarksville. Uh, now, let's get this. Um, do I need to go up here? I think I need to go on this one, down on. Yeah. All right. Say so, 1008. Stafford Court. Tennessee. And then get directions. Uh, let's move that. Copy. Put it up there. And then we we'll just put in Clarksville because I don't know where his where he, his father lives, and I don't want to know. Right. Then say you're walking. Right, he's walking. It's not even showing up. <laughs> uh, hang on. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right. Yep, it's possible. Anything is possible at the moment. Right, so you got 108 Stafford Court here. Right, so let's just go in and see which way it's taking us. See, that way is taking us up towards the school and around. Right, well. <laughs> But it would take him 18 hours to take that route. Where's the other route gone? There was another route there. Let's see what it shows us on a car. Right. Where's his eyes? See it that way? 
they'd probably go that way. You know what I mean? To Clarksville. I can't see them going all the way into Nashville and all the way around that way. Or even going that way. But then again, that way. It might be quicker that way. That's one hour ten minutes. That's one hour thirty-two. And this one is one hour twenty minutes. Right? Now, apparently, he knows his way to his dad's. So he's walking. There it is. There's the two maps. Two things. Would he have done that? Could he have done that? That would have took him 18 hours, 32 minutes. Or eight, uh, this light blue, it would have took 32, 18 hours, 32 minutes. And this dark one here, 18 hours, 31 minutes. So it's, you're only saving yourself one minute. Is it worth it? No. Right, where are we now? And if you truly did just get away and take off towards Dad, it could easily still be out there in the woodland area and not find you. But also not likely still with us. Exactly. I'm thinking, like, you know how they said he, he, he's more active on the night time and he, he preferred to sleep during the day? Right? Well, perhaps during, once the morning came and... After a few more hours of walking, and he was, say he was, cutting through woods and whatever, I doubt it because he had no shoes on, so they say, right? But say he was, perhaps he could have just fell asleep. Is it bear country around there? Are there bears? Is there snakes? You know what I mean? We don't know, but something could have happened to him if he tried making his way to his dad's. But then again, why didn't he take his phone? If he had it in his head, he was leaving, Why? Right? Why wouldn't he take his phone? Why wouldn't he take the money he had saved up in his bedroom? You know what I mean? It's not a silly lad, it's not stupid. Hi, Robin. Well, it's not stupid, it's very clever. And he wouldn't have just, the only reason he would have just took off at a click of a finger is if he felt threatened. You know what I mean? And he ran out of that house for his life. Yeah? But I know if I was a child and, God, forgive me, my, my parents were never like that. My mum was bagging up on her own, but she wasn't that bad, right? But God forbid, if I ran out, if I ever had felt I needed to run out of my mum's house or my mum and dad's house when I was a child, I'd have ran, but I'd have gone somewhere I knew. You know what I mean? Somewhere I felt safe. And that would have been to my nans. I would have ran all the way to my to my nans, my grands. You know what I mean? Because that's where I've I would have felt safe because I always felt comfortable and relaxed at my grands. I loved that. She had the same birthday as me. So but um, that's what I would have done. Now, is there anything, anywhere he felt comfortable with, apart from being at home? Apart from being at his dad's or at home, is there anywhere else? There's that school he used to go to, right? And there's the ice cream parlour that he knows his way to. But if he'd have gone to either of them, Right, I think they would have found him by now. But if he if he had thought about this and thought, you know what, I can't stay here because don't forget, even though Chris wasn't in the house, 
They did have phone calls. Right, with Chris. How do we know Chris wasn't saying to him something like, Just you wait, I'll be home one, one day, I'm going to be home, and you're going to find out what will happen. You know what I mean? That lad probably lived in fear. Yeah. But would they have not checked that route? I'm sure that route would have been checked. But like I said, Seth said a good, a good thing at the very beginning. He said, keep your head up and your eyes open. You're looking in tree in a forest, yeah? What do kids like to do? Right, what do kids like to do? I know I used to do it as a child. My son used to do it. My brothers used to do it. We used to climb trees. Right? Now, if I was running, if I was in the forest, right, I would rather climb up a tree and sort of get myself wedged in between some branches or something, you know what I mean? Some off the ground. So they could have walked right past him. He could have been sleeping. And they could have walked straight past him. But then again, if he had done that, the dogs who went through the area would have picked up his scent. But the dogs didn't pick up any scent. That's why I don't think he was in the woods. Right? And this is what annoys me about Chris, how he don't want the dogs in that house. He does not want Gator, K9 Gator, in that house because K9 Gator is trained to find narcotics, uh, pharma, uh, medicines from the pharmacist, and all that lot. Right? And he would have found every medicine in that house. And if there was none in there for Sebastian, Right? They'll go going, well, where's Sebastian's medicine? Why have you got rid of it for? Because over here in the UK, they have a thing is... Um, right, if you've got old medicine, rather than throwing it in the bin, to take it back to the pharmacist. And say, look, I don't use these no more. They've been in my cabinet for this long. I'm handing them in to you. That way, they're not getting thrown into everyday rubbish, right? Garbage. And being thrown onto tips and skips and whatever. And it's just a way to stop people get this medication getting into the wrong hands. Yeah, he's worried about that dog because that one dog can sniff out pharma... Uh, Whatever. Yeah, trees would have been bare then. Hmm, yeah. I agree, Aunt Ellie. But as I said, the dogs would have picked his scent up, so I don't even think he went in the woods. Right? But I'm just throwing out possibilities today as to if he had, could he have made his way to his dad's? It is a long way. Right? A really long way. But see, this one takes you that way, like those going past the school. This one takes you the other way. Which way would you have gone? Personally, if I was going from his house, I'd be going along that light blue road. Unless this is more highways and... You know what I mean?
So what I mean, look at the way it's going through. Oh my god, it's going through the forest, all of it. You know what I mean? It's going through the forest. That's walking. This is walking if she's going to go. It walk this way through the forest. Now, could you mapped it perhaps himself and thought, right, I'm going to take this road. Take, take this route. Even if he had gotten lost at a major one turn, I think eventually he would have come out somewhere. Exactly. He would have come out somewhere. As I, as I keep saying, he's not stupid. He's a clever lad. Right? And for some reason, my grandson, he likes to take the lead when he's going with me to the shops or we're going to the, well, the bus stop to get the bus home to take him out. He always wants to go the long route. Like walking where we walk from my, where I live to the bus stop. There's two ways to go. Right? And he, he always wants to go the long route. I'm going, babe, my legs aren't as young as yours now. Can't we take the quick route? You know what I mean? There are crossings, yeah. Again, yes, he could have got hurt. We don't know, do we? And this is why people are saying it needs to be checked. The route he could have took by foot. Or even if he's stuck to... I can't even see him sticking to the main road to go to his dad's. Because if he was on the main road, he would have been found. Someone would have seen him. Because don't forget, he went missing between what? Apparently between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. Right? But we don't know what time. Everyone just keeps saying it's 3 a.m. He, he went missing. We don't know that. Just because those lights were showing 3 a.m., we don't know for sure what time he left. We don't even know if he climbed out the bedroom window before his mum went to bed. You know what I mean? If that is the case, if that's what she's saying, he left that house on his own. Right? She could have fell asleep on the sofa and he could have sneaked out the front door. Right? You heard Chris say she was falling asleep on the sofa. So she told her, told him to get up, put the dogs in the cage, and go to bed. And with that, she did. Without checking on Sebastian, according to her. That's all right, SRB. Exactly, that's what people are saying, they need to go back. And I've had a bit of diarrhea of the mouth today, don't worry. Has anyone seen the show? Yes, I spoke about that. But it's from the wrong house. It's from the wrong house. Right, the video footage with those cameras, with those lights, is from one zero zero one right but when you look at that video that they've got it's the same video footage it's the same video footage but they've just zoomed in to you know where those big lights were the two big lights there they've zoomed in on those big lights not the little lights not that little light no more they're big lights and they're saying it was coming from either 1017 or 1018 Stafford Court, which faces down, the cameras will then face down towards the garages. But it wasn't taken from those houses, it was taken from 1001. Oh, I'm glad you like that. I, I like... I'm not, 
I, I went on YouTube this morning, right? I'm still on YouTube now. I think he's got some real FBI cases going on there. Right? I am true crime addict, right? Take that and my coffee away from me and I think I would kill you. You know what I mean? So... So, did I put that one up? Hang on, hang on. Did I put that one up? This should be admitted to the Secret Service to decide for what it is. You know, what it is, if you... It's just that original video of the lights. But they've zoomed in where... You know, you see all those two little lights? and But you're seeing these two bigger lights, which people are saying were um, the security lights on a house. They've zoomed into that area. Now, I'm sorry. That could be the trees moving. You know what I mean? Moving about in the wind. Because there's trees outside that house. It could be the trees moving about. Because it's not... Uh, one, it's not uh, Katie's house. Like, you can't even see Katie's house from that camera, from that... You, you can see the top of their roof, but you can't see their house. I'm just, you know what I mean? So, as I said, unless someone comes out, like law enforcement or Seth or someone come out and say, nope, we was told wrong, it was 1018 Stafford Court, where then I'd be going, okay. Let's pull that video back up. You know what I mean? But the facts at the moment is it came, that video footage came from 1001 Stafford Court. But law enforcement have got more camera footage. They've got more because Seth said the other night he has not seen all of the family uh, camera footage. He's not seeing it all. Right, and there's some dash cam footage as well. So I'd like to know what that dash cam footage shows, and where it was when it caught. What what that dash cam footage caught? I'd like to know what that is, because I swear to God, if they've got footage of a child being handed over and they are not doing nothing about it. I will get on a flight, a plane myself, go over there to Tennessee, Sumner County, and kick their flipping backside because something needs to, to happen. Someone needs to put some fireworks up their backside because they get them moving. You know what I mean? And what I can't understand is how come... Chris has gone all so quiet since that video was released of that phone call he made to the ex-PI, Heather. I really thought when that came out, I thought, oh my God, no, right? Because I thought, this is just, it's just going to kick off now. He's going to go berserk, right? And he didn't. Chris didn't say a dicky bird about that. Not a thing. And that's what surprises me. Why didn't he say something about that phone call? Where is Chris? Is he at work? Where's Katie? Hmm. I don't know. I'd like to see video proof of Katie alive. I want to see proof of life of Katie. I was, I was really surprised by that. I thought, oh my God, this is just going to explode now. It's going to explode. It's, this is not going to help the case. And that's why I was getting so annoyed to go on certain Facebook pages, right? And there's people going on about, wow, who's going into debt paying for 
groceries and all this lot for Seth. I'm going. And someone said, you don't have to donate. It's a donation. You don't have to. You, you're not being forced to. And I put a comment and said, I agree with this woman. I said, you don't have to donate. And I said, and you have posted this under anonymous. So she didn't post it under her own name. She posted it anonymously. Right? And I went, and I bet half of these people who are sitting here moaning about this money that's been raised for Seth have not even donated. Right? And, um, and then, normally I just ignore posts like that, but it was just getting to me. And then I'm scrolling down, and then someone's going, well, if Katie was 19 when she had Sebastian, and apparently Chris said she had other pregnancies before, hmm, isn't there something illegal there? And I'm going, she was 19. I was 19 when I met my husband. He was 30. Right? He was 11 years older than me. Seth was what? 19, 20, 9 years older. And she was 19. Maybe 18 when they got married, but 19 when she had Sebastian. She was of legal age. I said, and none of this is helping find Sebastian. Exactly. You either donate or you don't. But you can't sit there and complain about this money being raised for Seth if you've not donated. Right? And I can guarantee you half the people that I'm, well, 99% of those people that are putting these posts up about all this money raised for Seth, right, have not even donated. So, but anyway, let's get back to this map and when I can find it again. So, would you, could you, because either way it's going through, there's like a little road there. What is that road? Is that like a road? Hang on. That's a road, isn't it? So it brings me out onto a road here, this route does, and then he cuts through this way, and he's cutting through all these houses here, going past all these houses. It's only 257 if you went that way, and you're telling me they would not have cameras on that route. You know what I mean? They'd have cameras on that route. He would have been seen all that other route's gone there. But if he'd gone the other way, he still had to cross this road, which was the Highway 65 or whatever. It, he had to cross here, cross here somewhere. Was it this road he'd have to cross? No, this, well actually, if he went this way, I'll see if I can get that up again. Go by car first. Then I'll go back to walking. If he went, the light blue way, yeah. Hmm. It would have still took him on the two five seven all the way up to Clarksville, which would have cameras on. But it's a lot of wooded area as well. But it is a, it is a highway. Because it's saying 257. So I should imagine it's like a, a highway or a road or something. You know what I mean? Yeah? And in which case you've got to cross over this road here. This bit here. 
you've got to get over this bit here. Either way, whichever way it goes, you've got to get over this road here. You've got to get over these roads here. This is like a dual carriageway. But it is a lot of wooded area. But could it be done? Could he have done it? Could he have walked that way? Got injured. Fell down. You know what I mean? We don't know how steep the lands are. He could have fell down. A, he could have been walking and all of a sudden just fell down this embankment. Embankment. You know what I mean? And hurt himself. If he went to his dad's and he, he planned it, say he planned it, or just knew that if he was going to run, if he was going to leave, he, he had a plan in mind what, where to go, he would have took his money and he would have took his phone and he'd have put shoes on. It was not planned. If he left that house without shoes, it was not planned. It was not. He was running for his life. Right? Now, in that dispatch call, that officer said it's, it got footprints and it looked like there was running. Now, oh, let's go with some M. What if he went that way across? Oh, God's sake. Let's just say, for instance, he did run out of the house and he did go up here, yeah? Perhaps he was trying to get up here onto this route. Yeah? And that was those footsteps you saw where they said it was footsteps and it looked like they was running round here. Right? So... Could he have gone up that way, rang up there, come out of the house there, cut through here somewhere, not this way, but did cut through that way somewhere, rang up that road into the construction site and across here somewhere. You know what I mean? But why wouldn't he go to his school? Why wouldn't he have gone to his beach high school? Doesn't make sense. And that ice cream place he, he goes to. It's down here somewhere. Because there's Texas Roadhouse. Uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Because it was about 12 minutes walking. Oh, flipping out, that looks further than 12 minutes walking. You know what I mean? But it's so wooded up there. Is the hide your body anywhere around there? But look, see this route here? Where it comes out of Kelling Lane and it goes up towards the school. And then up that way, along there, and around. What if the mother came up here, right? Went up that road all the way round. And then, look what we have there. Beach Market, which is that shop where Kathy's car was seen parked up. Now, if that was Cathy, why was her car there at, what, 6 a.m. in the morning? You know what I mean? Because I know for a fact that uh, she goes up this way somewhere to her house. Somewhere up this way. I know you go along this road. Right? And there's shops along there. 
she could go to. So why would she drive all the way down here to this shop here? To Beach Market. And then, say there was a handover. She's handed Sebastian over to Cathy. She's then carried on down this road to the lights. Oh, look. She's coming all the way back home again. That would take, literally, to drive from there to there to there to there round 10 minutes. It would take that. Right, uh, let's have a look. Hi, hello, Brandy. Hey, SRB, thanks for bringing me here, love. Oh, thank you for bringing me here, SRB. Thank you. Right, but, yeah, if we look at those maps, that route, whether she went that way and along and round and then back round again, or went up to here and round, it would take 10 minutes to do all that with change. So she would have time to pass him off to someone. But I just think passing him off by a shop, right? And let's go down here. Right. But she could have gone that way and round. Let's drop our little man there. Right. It's a bit risky, I think, doing a handover round here. Because you've got the garage, you've got a shop. You've got houses literally, literally, literally on the road side. Do you know what I mean? They're not way off the road. They're just right on the road. So you've got these houses here. Right? So to do a handover would be a bit risky around here. It would be very risky. And it was only Kathy's car they saw. They didn't see two cars literally the same. They saw one car. Now, you're telling me Kathy's the only one who's got that coloured car and that makeup car? Unless they've got her on video getting out of her car, and I can definitely say that is Kathy Barrasocks, that could be anyone. Well, I'll tell you now, my son just brought a new car this year. And I went to get this car and I was thinking, don't get one like with a blue or a black or a white. Get something nice. And he got this like burnt, it's like a burnt orangey look. Oh, wow, well, I like that colour. And you know what? Since then, the exact same car and the exact colour car I see everywhere now. I see everywhere. And I go, is that my son's car? No. Exact six, it'd be 6 a.m. in the morning. Would the sun be up at that time? Possibly. And you know what I mean? But it's too risky. I just think it was too risky to do any handover. And as I said, there's so many, it could be the same maker card, just a different registration number. It could be the same maker card, same colour of car, just a different registration number. It may not be Kathy, Kathy's car, but people know Kathy and they know her car, right? And these people are the ones that have been coming up to the PRs and saying, I saw her car, I know her car, I know Kathy. You know what I mean? But this is what interests me. These. Storage units. Beach storage. 
Did law enforcement get warrants or whatever to get them opened? I bet they didn't. Because they'd have to have a warrant to have them to get them opened. Because they need the permission of the owners, whoever's you know what I mean? She's like, look, we need to get into your storage unit. We have got warrants to check your storage units. If you've got nothing to hide, just say, fine, I'll come and let you in. You know what I mean? But if you've got something to hide, you're going to be, hmm, I don't know if I want to let them in. But they need... I was thinking KP gave Sebastian to Kathy so he's out of the way so CP can have his faith. I can see where people are coming from that, but how is that going to help CP get Kathy's daughter? It's, it's all over the news, right? For a whole week, it was all over the news. That is, his stepson had gone missing, yeah? So... Is Nina knew about it, so Nina would be telling her attorney or lawyer. There's no way my daughter is going to his house again. Not while they've got a missing child. You know what I mean? It's not going to help his case, right? Right, Ellie, the GoFundMe is now is closed. Okay. Please, no one else go to the GoFundMe. He's got, I will put it up. He's still using, as far as I know, the Cash App. The Cash App is going along the bottom now. So if anyone wants to help, please do so. Hi, Jellit. You know what I mean? But you really, I hope they have got these checked out because if not, they need to get these checked. Because why wouldn't you, as law enforcement, knowing? Look, they've got a warrant to go and search a landfill, right? Where their garbage doesn't even go. But I've since found out that apparently some of the garbage does go there. So I don't know what's true and what isn't no more. But you, these need to be checked. Do any do the Barrow Sox own any of them? Is that why Kathy was there that morning? Perhaps she'd gone to one of these units. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. You know what I mean? I don't know, but they need to... I hope they have checked them. I bet you they haven't. I bet you they haven't. Tell you why I'm saying this? Because law enforcement are looking at this as a runaway. They're looking at, at this as a runaway. Now, apparently, there's camera around here. Yeah, there. There's a camera there. I think there's a camera under here somewhere. Right? And I also think there's a camera up here. That might be it. I don't know. Did they have a... See Cathy going into the store? Or... What? You know what I mean? I don't know. But I... It'd be, look at how close these houses are, you know what I mean? Six a.m. in the morning, you're going to have people going into the garage for fuel. What was that now? Let's have a look. Oh, oh God's sake, come on. I did hear someone say to Jules, the dog angler, to please go to the units with dogs, and she wrote it down. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yep. They need to be checked. 
because as I said, law enforcement have looked at this as a missing child, as a runaway, right? Now tomorrow I'm going to be showing those that first interview they did with the news channel, the four part interview, and in one part of that he goes something like he he didn't expect it to explode like it did, sort of thing. No, he was expecting it to a law enforcement be called in, class it as a miss a, a runaway because they've not found him. Class him as a runaway, wipe the hands after a week, go away. And that would have happened if it wasn't for Seth and it wasn't for the YouTubers. Because believe me, when YouTubers get their teeth into something, they're not letting go. He thought it would stay local. Yeah. He really did. And that's what the police were doing, treating it as a missing child, uh, a runaway. Right? Yes, it's okay. They did that intensive search. Right? Because they was looking for a runaway. And they didn't think he'd get more than five miles or more than whatever miles. But after a week, all of mm -hmm, can't do no more. We've done it all. Let's just go. Pack it up. Pack your vans up, we're leaving. You know what I mean? And but they forgot one person. And that's Seth. And he's now got a hell of an army behind him. One hell of an army behind him. <coughs> <coughs> so. There you go, you have a, have to transfer. What do you mean? LA. Because there's no way they did a transfer on this road. I'm sorry. There's no way. Oh, God. Let me get out. There's no way. Oh, God, I'll get my camera up. Why might my camera go up? Why? Oh, <laughs> God. My camera won't go up. Now, come on. There's no way. You can have people going to the garage, filling up for fuel, 6 a.m. in the morning. Some people do leave for work at 6 a.m. Believe me, I used to be a care assistant, a community care assistant. And some mornings I was out of my house to meet my colleague who I worked with at quarter past six in the morning to get to this person's house for 7 o'clock because it is a good half hour, 40 minutes away. All right? So, yeah, there are people out there that would be in that garage maybe, filling up, going into the store, maybe just opening up. I don't know what time it opens up. Right, I'd still love to know what drove them to search at the landfill. Well, I read up on that landfill, and it said it was mainly construction rubbish, right? Boulders, rocks, concrete, metal bars, you name it, wood panels. Everything you're throwing at one of those big tips, one of those big skips, on the construction site, that is where... They take all that to Kentucky. Now, the reason they wanted to search there was because, look, I will show you, and I'll tell you what. What's over here? Oh, God. No. Right. Let's turn around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Look at them. Right? There's two big bins there. Those are the sort of bins, I, I believe, that will pass. 
when I say the, uh, I heard that some general rubbish goes there. I think it's these big things. When I say general rubbish, I think it's these bins that go there as well. Right? So you've got those bins there. You had the big skips on the construction sites. You heard them say, can you put your um, dingy thing, uh, ringer thing, oh, what's that thing? Them fly things that you fly over, right? Can you place it over this, hover, put it over the bin here, over this tip? Escape to check if there's anything inside. You know what I mean? And that's another reason they checked Kentucky landfill. Because they said it was because the refuge men said their bins were slightly heavier that day. But then we found out their garbage don't go to Kentucky. Right, it's more, you know that, um, there's a, a landfill just behind second generation construction, which I believe their fam CP's family runs or owns, I don't know, but I hear a lot about that, second generation. Just behind there, hold on, I'm just trying to catch up on some of these comments. Bob's your uncle. What's that one? I read Chloe's post, Ali, contact. Yeah. Possibly. I hope they are. Right? So then they had... To, yeah, because... They're saying that dog was a... A, a negative... Positive or positive, negative, whatever, right? But why would you then go to Kentucky Langfield and search their Langfield? You have to get a warrant. And to have a warrant, you have to have probable cause. Right? So, I'm just trying to catch up. That's it, Kim. Drones. Drones. It was after Seth spoke about giving CPS papers to, to be on maybe lit a fire. Mm-hmm. That's right, I keep forgetting the trash goes to two places, yeah. And there's one place, which I believe what Seth said the other night, the place behind second generation construction, that landfill there, it's just a holding site where they, when their trucks get to, when their trucks get full, they go there, put the rubbish there, so they can go back out maybe and carry on. Uh, and then some other trucks come and take that rubbish to the, wherever they have to go to, whatever landfills. It's only like a holding site. Uh, could be short-lived fire. Seth had to show pickup boy in North Carolina before law enforcement found that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, I don't, it, okay, I'm, I understand in North Carolina there was a big accident or some big incident going on that day, but when Seth got there, I don't think law enforcement had got there then, because he was told by the management I was not allowed to show him the video. Now, if law enforcement had been already and took the video, 
that I could level the term and say, I'm sorry, we can't show you the video. Law enforcement have been and took it. So Seth got there before law enforcement. But anyway, let's get back to this. So we got there. So but hold on. I wanna show you something. I I'm going to show you something. Right, is this the route? Right, this is the school here, right? Now, say she come up, say she... Hold on, I'm going to show you something. Right. Uh, turn that off a minute. Where are we now? Right, we're going to go there, don't we? Right. Oh, come on, map. God's sake. No. No. Right, I want to get down to here. Oh, come on, you stupid little man. Get up there. Oh, you're not going to go up there, are you? Because it's in the woods. Look, I swear to God, little man. Stop fucking messing me about. Hey, why won't you go down? I'll take you closer. Don't you like jumping out of a hair aeroplane? Just imagine you got a parachute on, little man. Thank you. <laughs> I will take you the route. I think Katie could have gone. Right, ignore. My driving would be terrible if I was a driver, it really would. I'd be screaming at the drivers to get out the way. Get out the way. Right. And this is quite a long walk, I think. That's the fire station where those all congregated at one time. A long time ago. And I think this is the school we're coming to now. You can go that way. Or. You can keep going up here. Come on. No, so you can go that way, sorry. Or you can go up here. Come on. We're getting there. We are getting there. I think this is it. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. And you can go up here. I don't know if Google is going to let me go up here. Oh, it is. It is. Right, so you can go up here. Around through the school. Right, this is all the school. Right. Let's say she did come this way that morning. Yeah. Right down here. And look where we are. Look where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear me, Katie, you've been caught out here. Something happened, Sunday night, and on Monday morning, you went a drive around, took you 10 minutes to drive around to the school and back. Big change. I don't know why. I don't know why they're dragging their feet, I really don't. Well, I do know. I saw two posts where Fowler Fowler were turned down due to criminal investigation. Allegedly, first one to Nick was Typo, a second one to PR, I don't believe Typo.
No, it was a criminal investigator. The DA would not even be in on interviews if it wasn't a criminal case. He was in that room that day when they were showing Seth those videos. Chris told us that in that interview on Web Sleuths. You, you remember, Seth, you, I know you was in that room with Bobby and such, such and the DA. The DA would not be there if it wasn't a criminal case. Right? But look where that leads you out to, right? Oh, I'm just going back to my map. Right, for God's sake. Right by them things. So then she's come out of there. Did she do a handover along here? I don't see how she could because, as I said, this road is quite busy. I don't know how busy it would be at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'd like someone to actually get in a car who lives in that area and drive around that area, leave from that house up to the school, cut through our I've just done it, right? Or even go straight up to the lights and along, come along this way, come along from the lights this way, and then... Go up there and back home. I'd like someone to do that. If they could do that, I would love that. Because all we're seeing is people doing drive arounds of their area where they live. I'd like someone. JLR did three videos where we did three car runs from the sky caps. Right? Three possible ways home. And one of them. I think, I'm not sure if it came to this, came up over here. No, I don't think it came quite in this way. I'd have to watch those videos again of his. But it came three separate different ways from that Texas Roadhouse. But say she came that way or she come this way. I'd like to know how busy it is around here at 6 a.m. in the morning. No, not 6 a.m. Because don't forget, she woke up at 6 a.m., couldn't find Sebastian, went through the kitchen, do, 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 let's go and wake Sebastian up, went into Sebastian's bedroom, Sebastian's not there, and oh my God, my son's not here. Looked around the house, three minutes. Went outside, no. Got on the phone to Chris. Why? Not the police, to Chris. He didn't phone the police till, if you listen carefully on that um, dispatch call, it says the call came through at 6, 35, 39, something like that. Go back and listen to that dispatch call. I need to go, I'll play it for you if you want, or I'll play it tomorrow actually, because we're getting on for what, how long have I been on here now? Oh, yeah, coming on for two hours now. Right? So, um, it said, dispatch call, call came in at 6.35 or 39. I thought, oh, darn. Everyone's telling, telling us you've, the call came in at 6.30 or 6.25, 6.30. That's a bit of a jump there. Right? You said yourself... Chris said himself he made the call at 6.20. But on the dispatch call, it says the call came through at 6.39. Because I remember saying, that's like 20, 10. That's 19. That's like 20. It's like 19 minutes difference. Something like that. Right, I'm Hmm. So you couldn't have phoned him at 6.20 then, uh, Chris. If the call came through at 6.30 something and the police were at that house within minutes. So she didn't leave her house. 
Say the police got there for say six fifty. Yep. Was she there when the police turned up? I don't think she was. Listen, I'm going to have to listen to that thing again. I don't think she was there when they first turned up. Right? I think she was on her way back from wherever she had been. But either way, she was only gone 10 minutes. So if, say the police got there at 10 to 7, 6.50, she didn't leave her house till what? 6.40? There's going to be a lot of people mowing around by now at 6.40. As I said, you've got people going to work. Some people start work at 7 o'clock in the morning, some even earlier. Right, so... Right, let's have a look, see what comments have been saying. Maybe not there halfway either from the Henson. Yep. Actually, I might do uh, a live on that, on that one, right? Because, as I said, we've covered, we've looked basically at the route he could have took if he was walking and the route he could have took if he was going by, well, he would have walked if he was going by car. That's why I kept pulling up the car route as well, because that's the route he knew. He knew what way to go by car, right? So he would follow that route. I don't think he would go off into the forest. He would stick to the main roads. The only reason he would run like that into a wooded area with no shoes on is if he was scared for his life. Um, I thought CP was young about Bobby and Carson to... Oh no, he was sat, he was threatening to bring Bobby and Carson when he went to Saw. When he threatened Chloe, he said, she, she better make sure I never meet her on the street because I will bring Bobby and Carson with me. Oh, your pally pals are they? You know what I mean? I wonder if they know he talks like they are pally pals. You know what I mean? I wonder if they know that. Is that the landfill caught fire? And when was that fire? I don't think that was the landfill that caught fire. I really don't. I'm not sure. I'm going... I keep saying this. I'm going to have to do... check that out. Right, he definitely mentioned Bobby in that phone call to Heather. Yeah. He said that when he said something about... Oh, I will bring Bobby and someone else, whatever, Carson, because it's not for her safety, for mine, because I will slap us. You know what I mean? And then he goes, I will slap her. And then after a brief pause, we were ceased and deceased. Yeah, right. Tell you what, CP, CP. I've come up against some bigger men than you. Honest to God, I have. I was the one that would go up against the men over my kids. You know what I mean? Because when my kids were little, where I lived in Birmingham, most of the men round there would treat their wives like crap. You're my wife. You stay at home, you do the housework, you do the cleaning, you feed, put food on the table for me, you make sure my dinner's there, you, right? It's like the little wife and the ball and chain, yeah? You know, I was totally different, right? I, yeah, I had, you know, I kept my home clean, I had meals on the table, but my husband, no. He would never tell me what to do because he knew what would happen if he did, Right? So if there was a problem at any time, it was always the men in the family I was um, to go up against. Right? And my husband just backed up. I'm not stopping her. Oh, no. Don't think I'm getting in her way. Oh, no. He let me go. And one time I went round to a neighbour's house because the father had screamed some abuse at my son. 
right from their living room window. And my son come in and I said, grab something and he told me, I went, right Vince, I'll be back in a minute, I went, right. Gone round there, knocked on the door and the mother come. And I knew the mother, we used to have coffee mornings. We'd take in turns to go to either my house, her house or another friend's house. You know what I mean, every morning. And uh, um, I said to her, I said, where's your girls? She said, in the bedrooms. I said, do me a favour. I said, well, I said, do you want to take your girls outside for five, ten minutes? I said, well, I said, is he in there? Is he in that living room? I said, yeah. I said, right, get your girls out of here. I don't want them to hear what I'm going to be saying to their father. Right? And so she did. She took them out the outside. And I wait for them to make sure they got down the stairs and out the, out the block. And I walked along to the living room and he's sitting there and he's, like, he, he's laughing. He was laughing. Ha 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 ha, I scared your son, ha ha, and he was peed out of his head. And I said, you know what, you are so fucking lucky that I have not come over there, picked you up and thrown you out that fucking window I'm going. I said, you are, and it was, the air was blue, right? I said, you come with him. Ten feet of my child again, and I will slap you so fucking hard you won't know what day you're in. Right? <laughs> and it soon took the smile off his face. Soon took that smile off his face. But honest, and there's another father as well. His son was out, out in the play area, out in the back area, with a knife. With a flipping knife. And this one day he kept buzzing my block my flat door, to get in my block. But I had to keep going down to down the stairs to let them in because the buzzer wasn't working. So this one day I caught them. I went, right, I know who you are, right. So I've gone around to see the one mother first. It was her daughter, and I've told her mother. I said, where just such and such leave? I said, just down the road there. I said, fine. So I'm going down there. My friend is with me. I said, don't start, Angst, don't start. I said, start. Don't stop me. And this father's come out and he said, my son has got every right to be in that block. And I'm like, excuse me? Does your son live in that block? Yes. No, he fucking doesn't. He lives in the other block, but not my fucking block. Because if he lived in my fucking block, I'd have smacked him up a wall by now for the cheeking as he gives out and for the fact he carries a knife around with him. And he's out there with all the other kids flashing this knife around. I said, so don't sit down there telling me your son is entitled to come in my block. He's not. And this guy was bigger, much bigger than me. I'm only five foot three, nine stone, nine pack, nine stone, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm only a little thing. And he's like five foot something big. Muscular guy, and I thought, I oh, don't give a fuck, I'm going in for it. You know what I mean? And my husband, no, he would never, he would never get in my way, never. And someone said, someone said, um, something about my husband. Oh, that was it. Another woman said, told me about this other woman, how she's got the hocks for my husband. And I seen, I seen this woman outside the post office one day, it was on a Monday. And she said to me as I come out of the post office, I said, you can keep your mouth shut. I said, believe me, if my husband wants to come to you, he's more than welcome to. But you know what? My husband knows what side his bread is buttered. So if you want to keep mouthing off about how my husband is going to leave me to be with you, then carry on. But before he does leave me, I said, my fist will be going down your throat. I mean, I, it, I was horrendous, but I don't, I'm not like that now. I'm not. I'm a lot calmer. But I'm doing it. I am so much calmer now. Yeah, exactly. But, no. But, 
I think, I don't know with Katie, is, has she been demoralised and put down so much, you know? But I'm just, I go up against him any day. I work, I'm 58 years old and I'll still go up against that POS. You know what I mean? I really would. So, I don't know. Some women are like that, aren't they? They get into a relationship, they just want to be able to, they've got that comfort of, they've got a nice home, they've got these two, they both work and they've got a nice home. They don't want to lose that nice home, so she'll stay in this marriage because this marriage is keeping this home, you know what I mean? And he's probably put her down so much that she's probably feeling worthless herself anyway. But any guy who tried to put me down, I'd be going, yep, right. Bye-bye. I really would. And if I ever met a guy now and I met up with him and I asked him, I'd be doing all the checks on him before I met up with him. All the background checks, I really would. And then I'd be going, so how many times have you been married? Four? Oh, okay. Bye. I'd be up and out the fecking door. I would not be staying there. Four marriages. Does that not tell you something, Katie? And I also realised as well, it was after their divorce. Well, I should say before their divorce actually come through. But Seth said it was after the divorce that she gave up her job in the Navy. Yes, because she had to stay at home. Have a job where she could be at home when her child was at home. Because Chris was not going to be staying at home. Could you imagine Chris staying at home? It's all right. You stay in the Navy. I'll be here to look after your son. It's all right. No. He's not going to do that. He didn't want Sebastian in the first place. For Christ's sake, he made a choose between the cats and him in the first place. Or oh, I can't be around cats. You either have to get rid of the cats or I'm off. So it's either me or the cats. Stupidly, she got rid of the one thing that Sebastian loved, which were the cats. And the other thing, oh, where are the dogs? Has anyone seen the dogs or heard anything about their dogs? Where are they? I keep meaning to ask that. Has anyone seen or heard about their dogs and where are they? Yeah, and the snake, the snake, that picture of him, he loved that snake. And then, because they didn't have the time and patience to sit with him and work with him, you can't just say to an autistic child, well, that's your snake now. You've got to clean him out. You've got to feed him. Make sure you do it. You can't do that. You have to sit with them, show them, even if you have to keep doing it for them and showing them every flipping time until it gets into a routine, until they understand, right? But they didn't have the patience and time to do that. So, he did love that snake. But someone has got a cat, I believe, has said when Sebastian comes home, she's got a cat he can have. Because Seth, Chris was going, well, I'll have to go to his dad. He said, that's fine. He can go to his dad's house with you. So I hope we can find him, and I hope he is alive. But if he did manage to get out, I'm just saying if, and he got a, that camera, that one little light, I think it could be just Sebastian with his little pocket torch. Right? So I don't know, it's just my opinion that is now. And like everyone, I my chat is open to anyone's opinions and thoughts, even if I don't agree with them. Like one guy last night coming and said something, and I meant to just put him on timeout, but I blocked him. 
<laughs> yes. Sorry. But um, I hope to God he is alive. And until, I've just got to keep thinking he is alive because until we get proof, we've got no proof he isn't. We've got no proof he is. So until we get proof one way or the other, my, I have to believe he's alive. Anyway, thank, I'm going to have to go because I've got to take my medication. And I've got my video from my live from last night to upload as well. So I'm going to say good night. Thank you everyone for being here. All those on X, thank you for watching and putting up with me. Thank you everyone in chat for coming along and putting up with me. I really do appreciate you all. Right, you're helping my you're helping my channel grow. So I was so heartbroken yesterday when I found out that my channel had been blocked. I'm thinking, no, you can't block my channel. But I've got it back. I've got my channel back. So thank you everyone. Thank you for coming here. Thank you, Brandy, who's a new one. Ellie, I believe, is a new one. Jill. Jill. Sorry, I'm going to make a right mess of some names. I really am. Thank you, SG, SRB. Thank you, Ellie. Who else? Well, there was a guy earlier, wasn't there? What was his name? I liked his name. I can't think of his name now. But there was a, someone here earlier. Oh, where is he? Oh, I can't find him now. Anyway, thank you all. And I'll be back tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, as I said, I can quickly go over the route on the Google Maps with you for the route to from his home to, ten, to Memphis, is he? That he works or wherever. We can do that, and then I want to go over those. It's only about 5, 10, 15. It's about 25, 30 minutes all together, the whole interview. Right? But they did it in four little clips, and then what she did, she took a little bit from each of those clips, of those videos, and put it as one. But I've got the four. So we're going to sit down and watch them and see what we can pick up while watching it. And if you see anything in the video, put it in the comments. Because I'll be watching the comments with you. Okay? So, anyway. Until tomorrow, thank you everyone for being here. I really do appreciate you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Sorry, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'll finish up with this.